Hello everybody, this is Granny. Today I'm taking you to Wilkeson, Washington. We're headed up 176 to Fredericton, Washington. Not that long ago, 176 was a two-lane gravel road and Canyon Road didn't exist out this far at all. Fredericton was a very small out-of-the-way place, but in 1991 Boeing bought property here. They built a plant that employed thousands of people, and as they say, the rest is history. This is Meridian, the major thoroughfare going through Puyallup. The city of Puyallup is in a valley, and there's a south hill and a north hill. At this intersection, we turn on to 200th. Now we're on the OK Highway, or the Ording Capacin Road, at the bottom of this hill will be an Ording Valley. And here we are in Ording, Washington. When we see the Crocker Grange, we go left. About six miles from Ording, we stop at South Prairie Creek and take a break. The pedestrian bridge that you see here is part of the Foothills Trail. When completed, the trail will go from Puyallup to Buckley. And here we are in Wilkeson. In 1874, the coal that was mined out of the Wilkeson mine was sent to Tacoma by horse and wagon. Then in 1877, the Northern Pacific Railroad put a line through from Tacoma to Wilkeson. Originally, the town was divided into two halves. Uptown was the mine town, where all the property was owned by the mining company. And downtown, originally named Hope, was independent, where businesses and homes were owned by families. This monument near City Hall remembers all the hundreds of men who died in the mines and in the quarry. Many of these men were European immigrants, a lot of them from Russia, who came to work here. Many buildings around our state were built with the sandstone from the quarry, as was the town hall. The saw blades baking up this fence were from the quarry as well. Here we can see the Carlson Hotel across the street. It was one of the few buildings that survived the fires. The first fire that occurred in 1910 is said to have started in the Eagles Hall when a dancing bear knocked over a wood stove. The white building across the street is the Washington Hotel. It's said to be one of the oldest buildings in town. It was a brothel, a tavern, and a gin mill during Prohibition. It's currently for sale if you're interested in a historic property. The school was also built with Wilkeson sandstone, and it looks like it's undergoing another renovation, but it's the oldest school in the state that's still in use. These are the beehive ovens that they use to turn the coal into coke. Coke is a high quality product that they use in foundries for making steel. The third weekend in July, they use these tracks to have hand car races. And of course, you can't go to Wilkeson without dropping by the castle. Another historic building is the Holy Trinity Orthodox Church, built in the 1880s by Russian immigrants. At the cemetery just outside town, it's pretty evident that there were a large number of immigrants in this country working at the mines and at the quarry. We enjoyed our trip to Wilkeson. I hope you did too. But it's time to go home now. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye.